What's up, YouTube? This EXO coming at you with another well anticipated unboxing video. Now, besides the subwoofers, this will probably be one of my favorite things to show you guys. So, without any further ado, let's get into these crescendo PWXs I got. Looking damn fine. I got my 10 inch drivers first. So, let's dive into these 300 watts RMS over there from Navid in Florida. Looking real sweet. The one thing I was really impressed with these drivers is the overall aesthetic with that dual rise surround. I really like that. It's gonna look real good when they're all mounted into my door panels. If you don't know about the door panels, go click the link in the description and check it out. It's looking pretty good. Now from a first impression standpoint, they look like they're gonna be damn loud. I'll be playing them anywhere between 100 and 5,000 hertz. That way I can have some overlap between certain drivers on my active setup. I'm really liking the overall design of this driver. 2.5 inch voice coil, 98 dB sensitivity, and the frequency response is just really incredible. Set this up on a home receiver with a realistic EQ, and boy oh boy it sounded very nice. Even when you messed with it a little bit doing things that it's not supposed to do, it still handled up to the stress very well. So let's get into its little brother and talk about the 6 inch. We're going to have two 10s and two 6s in each door. And likewise, these are half rated at 150 watts RMS. 1.5 inch voice coil with the same type of push terminals, which are very, very cool for a little driver like this. And because it's a, sm a slightly smaller driver, it has a less rating for sensitivity. That means it's about 93 compared to the big brother at 98. Usually the bigger drivers you have, the more efficient they can be. So let's take a closer look at the inside of this because the spiders damn near look like a sub. Very great design and craftsmanship they put into this and it'll work out great for my door pods because of its fairly shallow mounting depth even though it's got a big ass slug on there. I'm really liking this. It has a dual roll surround just like its older brother, both rated at four ohms. That way it can run everything at an even impedance throughout my different amps. These drivers will play anywhere between 100 and 5,000 Hertz. And then I'll probably cut these off anywhere between mm, 250, 300 Hertz and then 7K. So here's the two PWX drivers going into the doors. Now let's switch our attention over to the FT1s, the Crescendo tweeters that I got. Um, these are 8 ohm tweeters. I have six of them. These things are just sexy. Not only does it look great, I know that it sounds great as well. We hooked it up to the home receiver and damn do these things scream. The only thing I noticed is that it doesn't have an inline cap. So if you have source pop or anything like that, you might want to get yourself own cap so you don't blow your tweeters or anything like that. One of the greatest things I love about this tweeter is its efficiency rating. 109 dB sensitivity. That means you can have low power on these things and they will still scream. Impressively enough, these tweeters are rated for 80 watts RMS with a hefty N52 neodymium magnet. So you can put quite the amount of power onto these without them beginning to sound distorted like other tweeter brands. And just like the mid bass driver, she's got push terminals for easy installation. So there you guys go. We got the 10, we got the 6, and we got the tweeters. Two of which will be going in my doors, two of which of these will be going in my doors, and then three on my A-pillars on each side with these tweeters. So it's just a quick little unboxing video just to show you an in-depth look at each driver individually, some close-up shots I'll throw in the mix. But there you guys go. EXO signing out until the next video. Getting louder and louder by the second. Yeah.